Welcome to London. Let me show you something. This is a Ferrari. So show them here. Ferrari baby, this is a Ferrari. This is very normal in some parts of London, like here. So let's walk around and let me show you some more. There's so much that I can show you, but just next to that, in the same street, we have a Porsche here. But this is not even the most expensive Porsche. Let me show you. Okay, the cops are here. welcome to london today i have a very interesting video and a guest someone i think i've seen you on my channel for quite some time yeah yeah and is going to take us somewhere very very interesting one of those videos that you know i love doing so what are we doing today so what we're doing today uh, i'm going to take the most amazing creator from Africa. I'm going to take African tigress. We're going to explore this affluent neighborhood called Kessington. So here we are in the main Kessington Bay, which is the high street. It's here. Here is the residential part where the houses can be 2 million, 3 million, 2 to 3 million. Mm -hmm. And the building here is a daily mail building. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Yeah. So it's one of the best newspapers in the country. So we're going to go and explore these houses so let's go and before as we're going you need to tell us who is you okay who is you look at that so just starting from the video this car costs about two hundred and fifty thousand pounds can oh, you wow. believe Which that is this? Uh, this mclaren oh, i so, don't know i've so, never seen this one man <laughs> so so this Ooh. car could be belongs to mr b stella mccartney you never know wow we forgot to say that is his name Ghana Fantu. Ghana Fantu. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel. <laughs> yeah, guys. you actually subscribe to his YouTube channel and let's see how they reach. This is where the rich hide in London. This is where the who is who stays. Exactly. So who are some of the people that stay in this place? Um, one of the most famous people I would say is, if you guys know a designer called uh, Stella McCartney. I know. Uh, oh, you know Stella oh, McCartney. Yeah, yeah the know. dad used to own for Formula One. Mm -hmm. And then Mr. B. Oh. Rowan Atkinson oh. used to live here as well. There's many more. As we continue, I'll probably show you guys many of the uh, rich people that uh, live here. Oh. I remember I was doing a video here. Mm -hmm. I met a, a very nice man mm -hmm. who just came out of his uh, vintage Ferrari. Ooh. And he was talking to me. If you guys want to check it out after the end of the video, you can go and uh, check uh, that Kessington vlog. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you lived here in the UK as we getting in there? How um, long have you been here? I would say I've, I've been here for about 17 years. Ooh. But because I went back to Ghana to be with my families, but uh -huh. I returned back now, about 12 years now in the UK. I'm now a British citizen, so I'm like a, a Ghanaian British citizen. Oh, so okay. now this mm -hmm. is some of the houses here. So uh, the house here, like three bedroom house here, uh -huh. could be about eight million pounds. Mm -hmm. If you get studio one bedroom, you're probably talking about three million pounds. Wow. That's a pound sterling. That's not dollar. That's pound sterling. Yo, that's expensive. That's pe very expensive. <laughs> Look at which car is this? Uh, this is a. <laughs> I don't uh, know. This is a Land Rover. Oh, it's just a normal yeah, Land yeah, Rover. That's I know, yeah. uh, this one here is a Porsche. I believe it's a Cayenne or 911. Uh, that's a 4S, yeah. You know so much about cars. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. When you do a video like this, and, uh -huh. uh, because uh, I know people that used to drive Range Rover, Ferrari, so you have to know about cars. It's one of the nice cars. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be lucky enough to see uh, Rolls Royce, Ferrari on this trip. You see like, rich girls. They could be working for people. They could be... Staying there. Staying there. They could you know, be... I would love to meet some of, some of them. If I meet them, I'll ask them, how did you make your money? Oh, yeah, of course. Why not? <laughs> will, you know, it's, it's a joke, but nothing's stopping <laughs> you to ask them. Ah, so hopefully, uh -huh. the plan is if you meet somebody coming out of their car, nice car uh -huh. who have the confidence enough to ask them, I will. what do you do? <laughs> I will. I'm looking for inspiration. <laughs> and uh, that's the Range Rover there. That's a of 63 course. plate. So the 63 plate, that's a 20... 22, 23. Yeah. So this car no. probably worth about... No, 75,000. 63 is 2013. 63 is 2013, yeah. yeah. That's still about, about 70,000 pounds, yeah. You see, I know about cars. You know, cars this is my favorite, though. Is that smart? <laughs> that's a smart, isn't it? Yeah, that's Mercedes, my still expensive. 
This one is quite expensive than a smart. This one. Oh. That's an Abarth. That's like a a Ferrari version of a small car. Oh really? Yeah. Look, it's Abarth. <laughs> it's made in Italy. Very expensive. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this car is is fast. Oh. I'll probably say it's have the same speed as all these supercars. This oh. small thing you see there. Wow. All right, well, so guys, but we are I have in a, a question. Yeah. So why is it that okay, you know, in Africa, most of the time, yeah, uh, we know like rich people they'll be in their own compound, not in apartments. So is it like here the rich people are staying in apartments? Um, I don't know. It's the UK. If you have too much like excessive uh -huh. money, uh -huh. most of them chose to be in uh, counties, countryside, uh -huh. so where they can have one acre land. Yeah. But because most of these people go to work, like they have businesses in the city, they prefer to live here because they go to the coffee shops, they meet their millionaire friends. But imagine driving from a countryside, which will take you about two hours to uh -huh. to meet a bit. They, they don't want that. They prefer to live in the penthouse, like this ones here where. Their car will be parked in the street. Imagine this place here. Somebody's house worth 10 million pounds, uh -huh. but they're parking their Ferrari on the road. On the road. I know, right? That's how I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the, this in the UK, uh -huh. your postcode will determine how much the property is. So we're currently at W8. Uh -huh. If you don't believe me, just go on Google right now, type in properties in W8 London. Uh-huh. It will be starting from number two or three or four. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there's something also unique about UK. Mm -hmm. Here, you pay council taxes. Mm -hmm. So council determined by where you live. So like where we live in Bristol, a council tax could cost uh, 160 or 200 pounds a month. Here, I don't know, maybe we need to ask somebody, but you could be paying the council tax about 700 or 1,000 pounds a month. <laughs> Uh, what's what, what's the purpose of that? <coughs> so council taxes, um, where they take care of the neighborhood, the street lights, or like the garden ah, here, okay. to make sure the refuge they collect the refuge, make sure the the neighborhood is very safe. Uh huh. So yeah, the council take care of that. Oh wow. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Sorry. All right. So this is where the rich people live. Yeah. I'm seeing interesting cars. I don't even know. I can tell they're like good cars, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see Ferrari and uh, uh, Rolls Royce in a bit. Okay. So, what do you think of uh, UK so far? Oh, well, <coughs> I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> do you need some water? Um, or no. coffee? Okay. Yeah. So, all these are still. Same, same. Yeah. <coughs> I just want to. Okay. okay. How are you? Yeah, it's not bad at all. Do you like so Yeah. Let's continue. Wow. So all these houses that look very old are expensive, <laughs> right? No, no, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you'll be, no, like, you'll, be, you'll be amazed how lucky people are to stay here. To have this? this you'll this? be surprised. Somebody actually paying two or three million to stay here. Look, uh -huh. somebody bought this house four million, but parked their Bentley on the street. Can you see the Bentley on the street? That's 12. <laughs> and that's about a 150,000 pound car. Oh, yeah. Probably more. I see it. Yeah. That's a Bentley, for those who don't know. That's, that's a, Bentley. a Bentley, guys, yeah. <laughs> so let's get, this oh, is wow. street, how beautiful the street is. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah. Look at, look behind me. Amazing, it's really beautiful. Okay, I like the red bricks. And also, if you just come closer, uh -huh. that we have one of the most iconic cars from the UK. It's in the James Bond movie. That's Aston Martin. Oh. Aston Martin is a British car. It's a British Honestly, own car. Honestly, I sound I sound so stupid with cars right now. <laughs> Do you want to sound by the the beautiful car? <laughs> oh. Wow. So that's a DBS. That was uh, in uh, uh, Casino Roya Cas Casino Royale. Ah, okay. So this is the DBS. Uh huh. So there's a, a type of uh, Aston Martin. Uh huh. So every year they release a different model, but I believe this one was released about about three or four years ago. Oh wow. Yeah. I'm not quite sure about the price, but it's definitely about 150 or almost 200,000 pounds. Okay. They live in the house, but they park on the street. 
They live in the old house. Yeah, and also... But I'm told inside they're really nice. And also, they, there's something about here. Uh-huh. To park their car on the street, they have to pay to the council. Oh. So here, you could be paying about 10,000 or 15,000 pounds a year to park your car here. Wow. So let's continue. You can tell it's a rich neighborhood. You can tell by the look of everything. The houses. Ah, this one looks luxurious, though. <laughs> wow. So these are apartments. Uh-huh. So here you could have about maybe four apartments in them. Mm -hmm. So each could be one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. Mm -hmm. And one of the two bedroom here in the apartment could be three million, four million. Wow. Right, right. So I actually have a question. So is this like a lot of people aspire to live like this, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know, you know, my, where I come from, yeah. the mindset when you're rich, yeah. you're somewhere in a compound, big one, yeah. com compound, massive with a gate, you know. <laughs> so I noticed like Africa is changing so fast. Uh -huh. And if you go to places like Kenya, Mm -hmm. I know there's some residential areas where they're building like very expensive apartments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah, go yeah, to yeah, yeah. Rwanda, if you go to but Accra. Yes, there's a place they're building that, but still, people still have that mindset of owning, being in your own compound. I don't know. Still. So, so the thing about this part of London, yeah. because the, the lands are so expensive, mm -hmm. they can't have big compound. Yeah. But if you go out of London, like uh, Surrey or or Oxford or Winter, now mm -hmm. you can start having your compound. But those are price of 50 million, 70 million, 100 million if you're going to have a compound in a place like Windsor. Wow. Okay, I see Teslas, Mercedes. How do you go from here? Oh, uh, so we just uh, continue. Let's keep showing you where the rich hide. And we're just here walking in the streets. I hope they don't call police on us. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's a, it, you're in a, one of the most affluent neighborhood in the country, Kensington and Chelsea. Chelsea. It's a royal borough, so uh -huh. it's like they have a stamp to be well protected by the royal family. That's why they call them royal borough. So oh. like uh, you go to Windsor, Windsor is a borough of ro like, it's part of the royal. So there's quite a few counties in the country that have that royal stamp. Uh -huh. uh, if you're watching from the UK, I don't know if I'm telling you right, but they have uh, they have a, a royal approval to be a royal county. Oh, so what benefits do they get by being uh, part of a royal borough? It makes everything expensive. So that's the benefit. That's the benefit. <laughs> so like, for example, if you live here, uh -huh. you get a lot of business deals. You get, you get, you meet, you have a chance to meet celebrities, rich people, business ideas. Oh. So imagine if you go to a pop here every day, you can imagine people that borough. you meet here. Wow. It's the same as going to a golf club yeah, in yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nairobi, but going to a golf club in another posh place. You imagine the type of people that you meet there. Uh -huh. Hello, you all right? I'm just showing my friend uh, the neighborhood. <laughs> They're friendly. Yeah, I tell you, everybody's friendly. I see Jamaica. No, that's Trinidadian flag, I think. Uh, is it Trinidad? I don't know. Guys, if you know, please do let us know. I think it's Trinidad. It's a residence of an uh, uh, ambassador or somebody. Oh. So you can imagine that country there, <laughs> ambassador is staying here. Oh, so these are actually residents of these ambassador are, stays these too? Are, yeah, these are residents. These are not the consulates. These are residents of the ambassadors or oh. the diplomats. Okay. Is that Spain? No, that's not Spain. Iran? Iran, so? Yeah, that's some um, Arabic country. Yeah. Wow. They're staying in the royal borough. <laughs> South Africa? Namibia? No, I don't know, but that one. <laughs> uh, that's South Africa, yeah. That's South Africa? Yeah, that's... No. Namibia, maybe. I think that's South Africa, is it? No, Namibia. You sure? That has to be Namibia. Google. <laughs> you, you have your phone with you? Yeah, so it's... If it's... So I know South Africa have green, blue, no, and red. South Africa, the blue is triangular. This is triangular, is it not? No, it's it's straight. That's not me. Come on, we need <laughs> open. Okay, it's so straight. So, it's, so which country is this? Namibia. Namibia, Namibia, right? I think so. I'm not so sure. <laughs> wow. 
Do you see the... Oh, the uh, I see police. I think I saw a vintage car. Which vintage street. car? There. Oh, yeah. So and this is the, the latest Range Rover. Vogue. Vogue. Wow. And uh, look at these vintage cars. <laughs> oh my God. You don't want to know how much this car costs. I cost. know. Even in Kenya, you oh can't even God. get this. Okay, the cops are here. No, they just live here. They live here. Oh, they live here. I think they're protecting uh, oh, somebody. An, that's like uh, I see, I see, I see. This is an MG. The company is no longer here. I think the American owned the company now. Uh -huh. But this used to be one of the biggest company in the UK. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. Look at this other one. Oh, this is a Panamera. If you watch a P-Square video, <laughs> I don't even P-Square and uh, P-Square and Rick Ross. Mm -hmm. This was in the video. So if you guys haven't watched it, this car was in the P-Square music video. All right. Hi, lads. Hello. You all right? How's it going? Brilliant. Yeah, I think we can continue from, we can just go from here. We'll continue from here? Yeah, from there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think there's nothing on there. I think that's where we started. That's where we saw the, that's the matter, right? Uh -huh. or, or we can go around. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sure, oh, there's restaurants in the... Yeah, so this quote one of the um, amazing restaurants in... I'm sure they're very expensive. Um, a plate could be, for main, uh -huh. be about 23 to 35 pounds. <laughs> okay, that's same then. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I thought it would be like a thousand. No, 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 no. <laughs> Unless you go to Gordon Ramsay in uh -huh. Savoy, then everything uh -huh. is going up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, guys, so this is where the rich hide here in the UK. <laughs> hey, guys, Kensington. Kensington. I, am I pronouncing it yeah, right? Kensington. Yeah, yeah, Kensington. Yeah, Kensington. Oh, it's 10, not Kensington. It's Kensington. Kensington. Okay, Kensington. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm exploring the most amazing neighborhood with African tigers. tigers. Yeah. Make sure you go and subscribe to her video. She does amazing things. She's been to Asia, Africa, Ghana. You know, look. Imagine. That's too much. Another one. Is this, this, this one is newer. One? This one is newer. Oh, is this, one? this one is a DB40, I believe. You know so much. Yeah, I believe. I'm sure it's a DB40, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. How much uh, did you say approximately this it costs? Um, about 125, uh, uh -huh. 125 or 150. Million pounds? No, thousand. Thousand? Yeah. Uh, For the car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There are planes there. Yeah, British Airways. Hopefully when we're lucky, mm -hmm. uh, we might probably ask one of the residents to tell us about this neighborhood, if we're lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And this is the latest, uh, the Land Rover edition. Uh -huh. So this was brought this year. So this is, uh, Brit is Land Rover British? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is their latest model. Defender, it yeah. looks nice. So they have a smaller version, it's quite trendy, everybody want to drive it. Uh -huh. But this is the bigger version. It, it looks really good. Yeah, I, want, really... I want to do overlanding <laughs> with one of so these. So this, imagine if you have this in Kenya or Namibia, you can go anywhere on the, on I, the desert with this. I would want, if I have money, I would get this and yeah, then I would do Yeah, this is far better on the desert than this one. Oh, really? Of course, of course, yeah, of course. course. Yeah. Of course. This is a Defender. Yes. Hey. Beautiful, it's the latest one. So you can see the plates, it's 23. It's 23? Yeah. yeah. 23 is this year. Yeah. 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 See? It's S7, brand new. So what do you think okay. we should do? Um, okay. Question. Quick question. Yeah. So, as I'm walking here, yeah. how do you tell who's rich and who's just walking like us? <laughs> see, that's a problem with London. <laughs> it's not like uh, Africa where you see somebody have their, mm -hmm. you know, bodyguards or security driving them. Mm -hmm. Here you could see somebody wearing a Nike flip-flop, but they own, they have probably about 100 million pounds in their bank account. Uh-huh. Yeah, you could see that lady walking there. Is this the same street we were? Yeah, that's where we were. Okay. We're okay. still exploring uh, Kessington. 
uh, the Kessin team pack is just uh, opposite us and we stopped because I saw something that I really like. So if you guys watch motorbiking race, so you have Yamaha and Dugati. Dugati is like a Ferrari of the of the bike world. Oh really? So this bike could be costing about forty to fifty thousand pounds. Really? Yeah. I need to get one to Valand <laughs> to ride from Cape Town to Cairo. <laughs> exactly. You want to do that? Do you want to do that trip? That one. Drive from I'm Africa to that. Africa to somewhere. <laughs> My friends have done that. <laughs> I'll do it as well. All right. So now we're trying to get to a night bridge. We're going to walk. Uh huh. Yeah. Tonight, hopefully, we so can do some. So, what is night bridge? Uh, night bridge is where the most popular shop in the world, Harrods. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you want to have a coffee in Harrods? Uh, if it's not expensive. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'll take care of that. Oh, really? It's on me, yeah. Let's go okay. drink coffee in the most popular department store in the world. All right. Harrods. <laughs> it's not £10,000. No, it's not. So look at the streets. The Beautiful houses street. look old, but I'm very sure the inside. Oh, yeah. The interior. <laughs> Prince of Wales Terrace. Oh, this is still Chelsea. Eh? Uh, are we still Kessington in Kessington, yeah. Wow. And you say that's the park? Uh, yeah, that's the Kessington Park there. To we everybody. should be able to. We should be able to get get in there so that I can see how beautiful they have. A, I think they have a gold gold statue that in the middle of uh, the park there. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So, what do you think of uh, London? Will you buy a property here if you have a for business? Yes. Yeah. I'll buy it and I will not live in it. <laughs> yeah. I'll a lot buy of, it. A lot of the people that own houses here actually mm -hmm. don't live in them. They live in Dubai, they live in Monaco, but they come here to do their business. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. I would buy it if I can afford the whole block. I'm Look buying at this it. Street. How many G wagons can you see on this street? There's one, two, three. Oh, wow, yeah. I see them. <laughs> can you see them? Yeah. Wow. I would totally buy it here and rent it for, I mean, I'll make more, more, more profit. <laughs> Just know? to. Make money out of it, right? Uh huh. So the park here, like I said, I said before, is Kensington Park, but people call it Kensington Gardens. So that's the Kensington Garden just uh, on my left. So here you can just take your picnics, you can take your alcohol. Unlike New York, alcohol is not allowed in Central in Park. Yeah. Oh. But unlike UK, you can take your drinks and alcohol there. And, and have get a barbecue. yourself drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Which oh, is no, normal here. Now that's Zambia. That's one I'm very sure. The flag I see down there. Yeah. On that building, I'm very sure that one is Zambia. I think uh, there's a, a famous theater uh -huh. here at the back. I think it's the Queen Victoria Theater or something. Yeah. So this is where we're going. Yeah. There's a popular theater, Albert's mm -hmm. Royal Albert Hall. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, Imperial Museum is down here. Kensington Palace, where the Royal Palace is also down here. Then if you look on the street, all Let this... Let me ask you, where does the Royal Family stay? Kensington or Buckingham or all of them? Uh, they live in uh, the, the one in Kensington Palace, where the Buckingham Palace is, uh -huh. which is down the road there. Okay. So if you see the flag is up, uh -huh. that means the king is in the building. If the flag is half, that means the king is not in the property. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> I don't know anything about royalty. <laughs> so this is the bus stop. So if you're doing like a hop on hop bus, there's the bus stop here. I'm sure these apartments overlooking the park are very expensive. So these are, I would say, the affordable apartments. Really? <laughs> yeah. What? Probably about 1.52 million for one bedroom. <laughs> Why are they cheaper compared to the ones on the inside? <laughs> Because, oh, because of the noise? Because there's a lot of them here. Okay. Or oh, like those ones. Uh-huh. One apartment block maybe have only uh, three apartments in there. Or oh, like this one, you can have about 10 or 20 apartments. So which for the developer, it makes more money for the developer. Okay. So that's, a, I believe, a residential area of... Uh, Netherlands. That's in, the flag of Netherlands. Netherlands, right? Yeah. yeah. Hyde Park Gate. Yeah. So now if you go here, more expensive houses down here. 
it's quite interesting. Uh, I'm still like trying to wrap my mind around like you're very rich and you're living in an apartment <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm trying to wrap my mind around that yeah i think we africans i think we should start considering you know like owning a property in too much land <laughs> you know the world is growing fast oh yeah it's the embassy of netherlands actually oh yeah netherlands yeah yeah netherlands so, so imagine right mm -hmm. the population is growing so fast yeah so imagine Accra now is populated. Nobody wants to live in Accra yeah. because there's no land. Imagine 10 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. If developers were building apartments, <laughs> there could be more people who could be living in Accra at the moment. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you go to where like Accra, uh, Jowolo, East Legon. Yeah, people yeah. have houses with big land. Imagine if those were expensive apartments like here. Wow. That saves a lot of land, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, I think the mindset, the I, mindset I, I, is like different. I'm, yeah, like I'm just trying to, I don't know, like apartments, I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> what, what was your preference? Big mansion? In my with, own compound, yeah, own swimming pool, yeah, yeah. But on a one acre land or just a half acre it's land? possible on 100 acre land. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to live like the Zulu king? Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, so guys, just in front of me, that's the Kensington Garden. Oh, that one? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Do you want to see the statue? Which statue? There's a statue in the middle there. Statue of what? I think Albert, I'm not sure. No. But it's there, somewhere there. <laughs> Controlled zone. What does that mean? Uh, control walk. zone. No, it's like a congestion zone. Oh. So if you have a diesel car or petrol car, so there's mm -hmm. a between these times you can't you'll be charged. I think it's uh, fifteen pounds. If you have a diesel car, your price goes up. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. So if you have a smart car, it's cheaper. It's cheaper. You don't pay anything. So it's the uh, is the camera that detects it? Oh yeah, they have a camera that detect, like this one here will detect it. Yeah. Oh. So if you don't pay in two weeks, you get a notification from London mm -hmm. with a fine. <laughs> okay, we'll proceed. Yeah, let's proceed. I see lots of embassies, flags. That's where they live because Here's it's Robert. just, the that's one where that the country is paid for. Teacher. Yeah. This bus is coming. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, just notice that bus is not double deck. Pardon? Look at rich people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to Nightbridge. You see the Lamborghinis, uh -huh. the Rolls Royce. Oh, uh -huh. sorry. Okay. Queensgate. So Queen's all Gate. the names around this neighborhood are royal names. No, they're not names, but they're just the street names. But yeah, the street names. I believe it kind of link in the olden days of a queens and mm -hmm. yeah, this place is very very well, well protected. So which is more expensive? Is it Kensington or is it a uh, Nightbridge? Where we're we going to? Um, between the two of them, mm -hmm. I'll probably say the expensive houses are in uh, uh, are in uh, Kensington. Oh really? Yeah. But Nightbridge. Kensington and Chelsea is one thing. Kensington and Chelsea is a, it's a, it's like a, a region or uh, not region. Um, water in Kenya, water in Nairobi County. What is uh -huh. it? Water. No, like you know, in Ghana, it's like a municipality. Oh, okay, I get it. So, I yeah. Get so it. here, Kensington, Hyde Park, Nightbridge, is covered by Chelsea and Kensington um, Mayor. Okay. I'll say yeah. So they have a council officer that control the whole area. Okay. So for example, if you go to Bristol, there's a, a different borough that protects it. So like, what's the biggest, uh, another city in uh, Kenya? Mombasa. Mombasa will have their own uh, council that manage Mombasa. So is it like there's royal, Royals everywhere, like Bristol have their own royal whatever's leaders. No. So Bristol have a, every every city have mayor. Uh huh. So London have the most popular mayor, I'll say, <laughs> in the world, uh -huh. apart from the New York one, because they have to protect a building like uh, Albert Hall. So this is where they do the the fashion award. Oh. Uh, big musicians like Whiskey, 
famous people who love to perform here. Elton John perform here. The Queen be here before. You know, Meghan Markle, like Prince uh, Duchess of Duchess of um, Sussex. Cambridge, Sussex. Sussex. They yeah. all been here before. I've been here before for a fashion award. Uh -huh. That's the statue I want to show you. Oh, statue of who? I think it's King King George or something. But Queen Victoria and her people. That you thing where is that? written Queen Victoria and Yeah, Queen Africa. Yeah. But I believe it's King Albert or somebody. King Albert. I'm not sure. Guys, if you know, please can you let us know in the description? I mean in the comment section. Maybe it's him. Albert, maybe. Yeah, you're right. That's the, the Al hall. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense. It's the Royal Albert Hall and, and the, the statue. Yeah. Yeah. So this place, this here is is one of the most iconic theater in the whole world. Really? Yeah, if you're a musician or artist and they ask you to perform here, uh -huh. you've you made it. You've made it. Because it's designed in a unique way, like the sound uh -huh. when you're performing or when you listen to a musician perform in this building is phenomenal. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah, very vintage. So when you see, when you're doing the premieres of movies, you see the celebrities walking in their Rolls Royce, you see Brad Pitt, you see King George, you see Prince William. Hey, you, you see African tigers. You see like the, <laughs> like the, the famous uh, celebrities from, you see the Vogue, the Ghanaian uh, Vogue uh, chairman. You see uh -huh. everybody walking on the red carpet. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we're still in Kensington. So now we, we live in Kensington, heading to Nightbridge now. Okay. Yeah. Why can't we walk through there? We can do that. Yeah. yeah. Wow, 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 wow. So windy though, but I hope the audience is going to be great. Pardon? Let me see. Let me see the neighborhoods more than the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. Beautiful. I would buy an wow. apartment here. If I had you never money. know, yeah. No, actually, I can buy like a whole building. I believe like this. you buy it. <laughs> you just have to believe. Oh, yeah. There's one Bentley I can see. Where? There. Of course. Do you know Bentley is a, a UK brand? I don't know about cars. So, uh, UK have a, a Land Rover, Range Rover, uh -huh. Aston Martin, uh -huh. um, MG, but now owned by America, uh -huh. a Mini, you know, Mini. Cooper, yeah. yeah, it's owned by UK. Uh, and also, which other cars? Uh, Lotus, there's so many supercars. Uh -huh. Rolls Royce. So, in most of the planes, like uh, I think uh, KLM and other, use a Rolls oh, Royce engine. Rolls Royce is British. It's British, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's British. <laughs> it's British. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, Bentley behind me. I have a Bentley here. Maserati down there. Which one is Maserati? With the white one. Oh, happy my Maserati. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's British. Yeah, no? um, it's Italian. Italian. Yeah. Oh. And there's another Maserati down there. Which one? Oh, it's, it's there. I can see. <laughs> you it. show me. <laughs> and wow. there's a Rolls Royce. So many. You can see the Rolls Royce. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's Rolls Royce Continental because That's you have the roof. Look. That's Amazing. What they look like in the inside. Why are they not tinting their cars? You know how no, some they like people... They, they want people to <laughs> see want, them with their roles. They've worked with their for rollers, it. They work hard for they it. They work want to hard see. for it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yep. So you see Tesla, four-wheel drive Tesla is very, very expensive. Tesla. And this is the latest Rolls Royce in town. This okay. one here. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Amazing. Hey. How much do you think this car is? Two hundred thousand. Uh, two fifty. Uh huh. Without the customization. Two fifty without customization. So if you want your name on the the seating, you want the biggest wheel. I can do a road trip with this one actually. Now, <laughs> this is what I want to do a road trip with. <laughs> And a trip with this one. I don't know if you watch music videos. If you watch a uh, uh, Chiran and a, uh, if you watch a Swams, a uh, Stormzy, uh huh, and uh, a Chiran, this is the the car they use for their video. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. I think uh, Ben Boy was also in a in a video as well. Oh really? Yeah. They use a red one, I think. 
Look at them. Look at the rich girls. <laughs> They're playing. I'm telling you. <laughs> and that's a Maserati as well. Oh, this is a Maserati. Yeah, and another oh. Maserati there. Damn. So we're in a street where the cars alone probably worth about two million. Uh huh. This is my favorite, actually. If I, I have the money, too. I want the one actually, in the, I want this one in the so burgundy. Of Alandi. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, I'll get uh, it in mustard. Or but black is cool. Black is sexy. Black, black is. This is not black. This is navy. Oh yeah. Even, yeah, it's navy. Yeah, even, it's very nice. Uh, black is sexy. So too. this red here, uh -huh. can you see the plates? Yeah. Is one, two, three, four. Yeah. That plate could be about hundred thousand pounds. Why? Because it's private. Oh. I can see it's called. So these number plates could buy somebody's a celebrity's uh, uh, mansion in Africa. Of course. Then the Maserati. You see Maserati. Maserati, Maserati Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce, Bentley, Bentley, Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce. Damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. See, there's so many people coming to take photos, yeah. just like us. Exactly. Uh huh. Hiya. Yeah. Right? yeah, not bad. We're just exploring the neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. What do you think? Yeah. Do you like living here? Is there. Where? Down there. <laughs> 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 it's nice though. It's very nice. <laughs> wow, this is really nice. Royal School of Mines. Yeah. It's beautiful, right? Stunning. I've not been inside the building, so I don't know how I feel about staying in an apartment. I know it's very expensive, obviously. Some of them, some of the buildings are more than your entire net worth. <laughs> <laughs> and inside but, is very big as well. Uh, They're very, very spacious. Really? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you watch a lot of real estate videos in London, but uh -huh. you can see how big they are. I need to do, I need to check. Yeah. But I'm just like looking Maserati, Maserati, <laughs> Rolls Royce, Bentley and all that. I'm like, Ooh. So we continue. We continue. Next stop. Is Nightbridge. Nightbridge. Yeah. Night like K or night like N, like K. night with K. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why it's called Nightbridge. Because of the night. Probably the, the night, like the royals, the titles, yeah. they live here. That's the only thing I could think. Sorry. Wait, I was asking you about this. What are these? What? Well, uh, these are, um, it's like an electric bike. So it's like a scooter. Mm -hmm. So you register, you pay, then it release, then you can ride it around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if, if, you, if you ride a scooter. I can, but I've not. So, Princess. I don't Kate. know where we are, but the street looks very amazing. Look. Yeah, the place looks amazing. Yeah. I also don't know where we are, but it looks amazing. It looks like we uh, still we stay in Kensington. Kensington. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like um, Champs Elysees of France. Champs Elysees. Yeah, it's a popular street yeah. in Paris, yeah. Okay, for me, it's giving me this vibe of a street that vehicles <laughs> should not be driving for people to just walk. But you also notice there's a, a lot of foot. Yeah, a lot of people. People on foot. Yeah. Okay, so we continue. So let's continue. Let's head to the main streets. I don't but know. Can we turn here? Let's turn, let's turn here. Okay. Let's, yeah. let's, let's explore the neighborhoods. Yeah. yeah. Let's cross. Let's wait for the Range Rover to pass. Yeah. For some people, I was told that like these Range Rovers are like taxis that people use here. Like mm. they hire them to use as. Uh, Honestly, I've never seen a Range Rover taxi in. No, the, like in not London. like a taxi taxi. Like they hire it. They hire someone to wait on them in a Range Rover. Oh yeah, like to move around. To move, like for example, if uh, yeah, the let's rich say, people, uh, rich people yeah. from uh, Nairobi arrive and it's coming to do a multi-million uh -huh. business, the Range Rover could be waiting for them all day. Yeah. Why are they transacting? Because they don't want the car to uh, be out of their sight. Yeah. yeah. It's the same as Rolls Royce. They mm -hmm. could hire the Rolls Royce for the day because they know they're going to sign a multi-million contract. Yeah. The good thing is you can rent a car here without any problem. But the only thing you have to deposit a very hefty, hefty deposit. That's a more beautiful neighborhood. We'll continue this way? Yeah.
You know, one thing I love is the fact that in as much as these are parks and uh, apartments, yeah. there's a lot of green spaces as well. Yeah. So since you don't have a green space or a big compound to yourself, you can have a park, like you can see she's walking yeah, it's it's very it's something very very important for UK. Yeah. If you're a developer and you're building apartment or housing projects, you have to have a communal place mm -hmm. like a park. It's part of it. They won't give you a permission to build a property if you don't have a communal space. Oh. Because they want people to be able to exercise, like do social stuff, like taking your dog for a walk sitting there with the family going for a walk have a nice fresh air yeah it's very very important yeah these days do they still build buildings like this because i was told like these buildings days i don't know edwardian i don't is know is what victorian? I, victorian I think they're edwardian yeah and they edwardian don't build and them things like that they oh, they're build building like this now yeah so so another thing that a lot of people don't know about this country, like for example, Royal Albert Hall, that would be classed as a class A building. So the class A building means it cannot be amended, it cannot be, uh, you can't repair, you can't like, you can't, you can't break it. Mm -hmm. So it's protected by the royal family because those buildings are like thousand years old, 2000 years old. So they are protected. If you go to the remote areas of the country, like uh, Birmingham, Overhampton, Scotland, so you see buildings that are like 10,000 years old. Oh, yeah. Wow. Must have been constructed well for it to survive all that time before it breaks. Yeah. Meaning, like in the past, buildings were done better than they are done exactly. now. these days. Now they use so many, so many tools like a, a fiber, they use different cements mm -hmm. to build, and that's how we're in the Imperial London. It's one of the most uh, iconic college. Imperial College. So most of our African ministers probably study here. Um. <laughs> so they have Oxford, Imperial College, they have uh, Cambridge. Uh -huh. So Imperial College is one of them. I see. And you see the neighborhood. You think uh, they're studying here and living uh, in Bristol? No, they will be <laughs> one of them. I won't be of surprised. Course, they will be staying here. I won't be surprised if ambassadors and uh, uh, families are living here. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And look, look at the wretch. That wretch is probably 100,000 pounds on a Bentley parked outside. <laughs> and this street here, I believe the house prices will be about 9 million, 10 million. Oh, really? Yeah. Look. Look at the wretch. <laughs> 42 CY, that's about 250,000 pounds. To just Reg have a different registration number. Yeah. See? Wow. On a, on a very expensive Rolls Royce. <laughs> wow. You know what? Let's stop in there and take a nice picture. <laughs> actually, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh huh. When you meet the residents, they actually tell you what's the neighborhood like. It feels nice. Like living in East Legon. If you meet a the residents, they will tell you how living in the East Legon feel like. Is that the most prestigious in Ghana? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's an uh, airport residential area, Jowolo. Mm -hmm. uh, now uh, they have this new place, uh, Airport Hills. Okay. Yeah. All right. We need to meet one more. One, we, meet, we need to meet somebody. Definitely, we'll meet someone. And who doesn't mind being on camera. Yeah. And we can even ask them if they don't mind to be on yeah, you can ask them yeah. if they, they, they don't mind being on camera. Yeah. That guy just told us two million pounds, like, a square pocket foot. change, yeah. So like, he says uh, two thousand the square per square foot. Per square foot. And then he's like, now put a thousand, <laughs> but that's like really small house. That's what he it's said. Two million <laughs> for one bedroom. Yeah. Now we have a G-Wag on here. Uh -huh. um, that's uh, a church. Eh? That's a church. Yeah, I think it's a church, yeah. All right. We'll go this way? How do you go? Uh, this is a, a G-Wagon V8, so that's about £147,000. on. So if you want to know the residents, then they'll not be the ones taking photos. No, 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 no. <laughs> so like this one's here, uh, their residents. Uh -huh. Those ones, yeah. But sometimes these residents could be a help for the rich people. 
Yeah, you saw, you saw like that guy we saw here, yeah, like saw, two, saw, two saw, helps. Two they helps. look Filipinos. Yeah. Yeah. And they just came from Dubai, so the, mm. the guys... Actually, we just met the guy, the somebody guys, yeah. who talked to us, but <laughs> off camera. It was with a kid, the yeah. wife, and, the and two, two Filipino uh, house, house helps. helps. Amazing, right? Yeah, and then he's like, oh, no, we actually, yeah, we live here with our mother-in-law, but we just come to see our mother-in-law here, but we live in Dubai. So their mother-in-law lives in Kensington, <laughs> and they live in Dubai, <laughs> Jumia Beach. That's uh, what which, they said. Which is almost the same as this place. <laughs> Damn. Damn. So these people are minted, look, right? Look, 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 look on the road. I don't know which car that is, but it's a nice sports car. <laughs> it's a it's a Porsche Cayenne, yeah. Okay. Porsche Cayenne is like a affordable supercar. But you know, like cars are cheaper here than they are in Africa because yeah, of true. the importation. So the good thing about UK, you mm -hmm. don't have to buy the cars cash mm -hmm. like we spend. Like for example, I have a Toyota Corolla back in Ghana, mm -hmm. which I bought like uh, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. I pay about six thousand dollars to buy the car. Oh, that car would be like six hundred pounds here. Mm -hmm. But because of the importation and everything, it just make everything expensive. You see, like okay. I was told, oh, we got that too. I think we we'll go this way, yeah. I was told this Mini Cooper, most rich kids, their parents buy it. Oh, this for, is nothing. To go to campus. <laughs> this is nothing. This is like a small. These are the cars. These are the premium cars. I would love to drive the this. The G-Wagon. It's my dream car, though. Everything you sing on this street, you're saying it's your dream car. No, this Pick one is one. my favorite one. My G-Wagon. All my friends, it's our dream car. I know a few of my friends in Canada that drive this car. I won't mm -hmm. mention names because I don't want anybody to say, Oh, look, your friends are rich. I don't want to mention names. I say. <laughs> ah. Princess. And Gert. also, I was saying there's some rich areas in Ghana. Spintes mm -hmm. is one of the rich areas because I'm from Tema. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know how many ministers and the rich people live in Tema because we have the best sewage system in Ghana. Oh, really? Yeah. So everything goes under the water, under the ground, mm -hmm. in a Christ knot. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. Right, so guys, we're just approaching, well, you see, Bulgari Apartments. Bulgari? You know the designer, the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They have apartments here in Nightbridge, which is just down the road. If you're lucky, we must see Lamborghini, we must see Bugatti, we must see Rolls Royce Park in front. Musicians like uh, Beyonce, Jay-Z, when they come and they need somewhere safe and secure, mm -hmm. this is where they brought them. So is it like uh, the, 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 the fashion brand owns the building? Yeah. The designer owns it. This No, it's not this one. Oh. It's just uh, on our right. It's very, very expensive. Oh. A night could be about 14,000 pounds. Per night? Yeah. That's someone's rent for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you make money, spend it. You spend it, yeah. But I don't know what will happen tomorrow. It. Yeah, because yeah. you've worked for it. Yeah. So. If you work so hard, you ball hard. Yeah, exactly. So what? Yeah. So what do you think of the people that invest their money in this country, but they actually don't live here? They come your smart. holidays. Pardon? They're very smart. Why do you think that? Because yeah. it's expensive here. Yeah. So you can still have more luxury elsewhere for yeah. cheap yeah. and still make lots of money here. Yeah. I like that. I think so. I, I looking at it from a business perspective. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to be in the hustles and bustles of London. Yeah. And yet you have money. You look. Oh, there's an overground here. Ah, okay. There's an overground here. Yeah, I think uh, that's a tube station. Oh, it's a tube station. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it looks like. But well, it could be apartment as well, you know. Private property. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. It's beautiful. 
Beautiful in the sense that... Look what we have in front of us. Oh! Ferrari is a is the latest one as well. Wow. Wow. That's a Ferrari. Yes, Ferrari. It's the latest wow. one. 23 played, I believe. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, it's private. The, the customers, they're paid. Yeah, because that, that model is, uh, I think, this year or last year. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're oh, in we're Nightbridge. Nightbridge. Yeah, we're in Nightbridge now. So why are we going fast? Do you go see that place or do we get into oh, the no, we go to. Let's go to uh, see the the Bulgari apartment. Yeah. Then we turn right and go to Harrods. All right, cool. Yeah. If you wanted to see the cars, we would go in like this. So we go straight. Yeah. Is it not uh, like? Can we do like one street? We like can this? do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, we are now at Knightsbridge. Knightsbridge, yeah. Knightsbridge is known for Bulgari apartments, uh -huh. uh, Mandarin Orientals, uh -huh. Harvey Nichols, uh, Harrods, everybody know Harrods. Uh, uh, not everybody, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> everybody knows Harrods. Uh -huh. Guys, how many of you know Harrods? Can you comment below? Let's, let's do a magic. Okay. The person who wins, I will be sending them 10 pounds as a challenge. On the, you, you will send it as a super chat on uh, my so, channel. <laughs> yeah, so you send it on a super chat, then he can, uh, she can uh, credit it to you or you can uh, contact uh, Royal African Tigers yeah. with your email, then we can send you a paper. Yeah, this case said my name is Royal, <laughs> then I'm like, yeah, continue. Royal African, African Tigers. Tigers. Yeah, <laughs> let me give the people a chance. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, nice day. Oh, you know what I noticed? Well, a lot of places here in the UK when they're building, yeah. they build this basement. You see, like down here? Guess what we have? Oh. Can you turn right here? Uh, oh, what's <laughs> this? I don't know, cuz. That's a McLaren. <laughs> oh, okay. That's about, that's about 350,000. Guys, look. Look at that. <laughs> that will buy me about three expensive six-bedroom apartment in East Legon. That car here. Hey! Damn! Yo! Can I take a photo? Oh yeah, of course. Please go see all my beautiful photos <laughs> on Instagram with all these beautiful cars that I can't afford right now. But you definitely afford the one there. Um, I'm not big on cars. I want to own a plane. Yeah, a plane? Private jet? <laughs> yes. Wow, nice. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm manifesting. Today, yeah. I feel like if others can do it, yeah. why not me? You feel a royal today. I can do it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's possible. I'm uh, royal without money though. <laughs> I, I always believe in this saying that uh -huh. anything is possible yeah, as far as you put enough determination. And actually, yeah. And actually when you manifest something a lot, when you manifest and think like a lot of things that i've not achieved much in this world but a lot of things that i've had or have happened to me sometimes even when i wasn't even like really it's just things like i was just manifesting do you but of course you manifest and pull exactly yeah. can you believe that one day you have more than two hundred thousand subscribers on youtube no because i was never popular i never thought i it's something that can happen to me I wasn't a media girl, I wasn't anything, so this far, I'm like happy, I'm gratified. Yeah, I'm going for more, but I'm satisfied, to be honest. And also one thing I want to ask you, right, I want your honest view. Mm -hmm. Why do you think the whole world think Africa is poor? Uh, so that we can, you know, when someone tells you you can do this, yeah. they put that mindset on you then you'll never be able to do it. Do you think that's why everybody think we are poor? I think so. It's because even some of us believe so because we've been told so over and over, over and over again. That we can't do it. So you become what? Wow. So that's what you're consuming. Wow, guys, can you believe that? So we need to start changing our mindset. Yeah. When somebody say you can't do it, you need to prove them wrong by exactly. doing it. Amazing. Well, I'm enjoying my time with the Royal African... <laughs> the Royal African Tigers. <laughs> with the Africa Tigers today. <laughs> Amazing there, guys. Please consider liking her video. Subscribe to her channel if you're watching uh, from London, Africa, 
USA, whatever you're watching from, make sure you go and check out amazing content from Ghana, Asia, yeah. London, all over the world. All over the world. Oh, this is our popular street though. Yeah. Oh, also, this is a shopping street. Yeah, it's a and shopping street. Only like designer shops here. And uh, who is ready to see Harrods? Me. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go see Harrods. Oh, is it by here? These Harrods. Oh. Well, I'll show you the front, yeah. Which one? Here's Harrods. No, it's not here. I, we're not here. It's down oh, there. Here's the BV. Is this the one you're saying, no? No, no it's not this, this one. one. I think this is not Harrods. No, it's not. Yeah, this is Harrods. Yeah, these Harrods. Yeah. There. Oh. Let's let's get closer and, and change look. Oh wow! So all designer shops. <laughs> and then when yeah. we finish, we walk down and you see more of our lottery. All right. Yeah. So let's see Ted Baker Diesel. Yeah, we cross it. Tommy. So this is basically all the way designer this, shops. This the whole place here, this building, is Harrods. It's huge. Oh, the building? Yeah. Oh. Guys, you are witnessing most iconic department store in the whole world. This is a Harrods. I see. And then down there, mm -hmm. that building you can see there, that's Mandarin Oriental. Oh. One of the most expensive hotels in the world. On that end? Yeah, that end. We'll get there. Okay, time to cross. Right. I don't know if they'll allow us to film in there, but I don't care anyway, yeah? Do it with us. They say it's always good to uh, say sorry than ask for permission. <laughs> That's what I always do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go in. Oh. Yeah. All right, so guys, uh, we're walking into Harrods. I'm not sure if they'll allow us to film, but I'll try my best. So, it's shopping. Yeah. And? Uh, coffee and drink. Coffee and shopping. Yeah, <laughs> coffee and shopping. <laughs> so this is a Bottega. This is Hermes. This is Hermes, where the bags are 15,000 pounds. That's it. Yeah, let's walk through it. Yeah. Can you smell it? Yeah. That's actually a nice perfume. It smells fresh. Oh. You're trying the perfume on me? Oh, oh these are testers. Yeah. It smells really good. Yeah. Mm. Smells like money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go have some drink. Uh, see. Oh, you can see Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Wait, let me just see something. Okay. Do they have price tags? Uh, sometimes they do if you open. Uh huh. But the expensive one don't have price tags. Okay. Uh, this one. Maybe it needs to be unlocked. Let's not break everything. Oh. Price is two thousand <laughs> two thousand pounds. Do you see that? Yeah. Is it? Hello, hi. Hi. I'm just showing my friend no. the bags. All right. Amazing. <laughs> okay, let me not appear surprised. So let me appear rich. <sighs> That's Gucci, my favorite brand. Oh, you love Gucci? Oh, look, I'm wearing one right now. Oh. <laughs> I have accounts in Gucci. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so... Okay, now I understand. <laughs> so this is where all the designers... Oh, this is where all the rich people can spend their money. So the rich people from Nightbridge, Hyde Park, Kensington. This is where they spend the pennies. Let's go to the food court. Who is it? Where the chocolate, Harrods. So if you want to buy somebody a gift, like your mom, a surprise today, you guys see here, you have it in a Harrods bag. Oh, if you, if you buy it? Yeah, yeah, they give you a Harrods bag. Oh. Yeah. So, is this a food court? No. Pardon? 
Where's the coffee? Oh, the coffee is in the food court. That one ah. there. So we are actually uh, trying to get to the food court so we can have some coffee or some tea or champagne. Yeah. Do you fancy champagne? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Paris champagne. This is my brother here is following me today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here yeah, we're in the food courts right now. So we're just oh. going to find somewhere to sit and have a, a glass of fizz. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. No, I'm, I'm feeling hungry now. <laughs> Look at the feet. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. So yeah, let's let's go down there. Look at it on the presentation of the meat. Oh yeah. Look at the fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a Harrow champagne. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're having a drink. Oh, this is how we're gonna have our coffee. Yeah, and well, hopefully we'll find a table. Let me ask okay. them. So please wait here. Maximum stays 45 minutes. Yeah, I think it's Hopefully we'll find a set. Two for two? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. No problem. Oh, you say what? That's thank you. So that's for Yeah, you can, you can hand your bag there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. <laughs> so me. Yeah. yeah. It's doing great. So, so, so far so good, right? So far so good. So one thing I've noticed uh, about the menus, like this one here, it has calories. So you know how many calories you're, you're consuming. consuming. <laughs> so if you are somebody who is on a diet like me, yeah. I know how many calories <laughs> in croissant or beer. <laughs> But you know, sometimes some calories don't count, like frozen calories. If you're having, you know, some ice cream, yeah. frozen calories don't count. Really? <laughs> I don't know that. No, it's just a joke. But yeah, like everything, the calories are measured. So I'm gonna have some latte yeah. and croissant. 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 The tea is silent. <laughs> croissant. The tea is silent. And uh, for those of you guys that doesn't know, we are currently in uh, Harrods uh, food court. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the most popular food courts in the country, I'll probably say in the world. And they also have a Chiffinis cafe in here. I celebrate my birthday here, if you watch my videos, you say that. Oh, this is where you had your birthday? Yeah. So oh, okay. the food Tiffany by, I think it's first floor, second floor? Uh, we'll go down there, it's way down, 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 down. down there. Yeah, the house, Thank you very much. So you're having beer? I'm having a nice uh, Harrods beer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I always drink Harrods beer when I'm in Harrods. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go, enjoy it. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's how the Harrods beer look like. Mm -hmm. I'll wait for the croissant and the latte. <laughs> Then I can have my first. Uh, yeah, being my a first gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> always, you should always be a gentleman. <laughs> There's no room for not being a gentleman. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm excited. Thank you for this beautiful experience. <laughs> Thank you. You're I welcome. appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, when I made it to Kenya one day, oh, sure. the Royal African, African Tigress <laughs> will take me everywhere. <laughs> I'll take the Royal Ghana fan too. <laughs> <laughs> What I want to eat in Kenya is Ugali. Ugali, yeah. you'll get it. Definitely, Play, right? uh, a good one. Anywhere, <laughs> anywhere, everywhere. That's the signature. You can't miss that one. Definitely. Anyway, so let me wait for my latte. Yeah. And see it and test it. Is it like everybody comes here, not necessarily the rich? Even though they no, are every, everybody comes here. So mostly people who are shopping or visiting London. Mm -hmm. And because it's so iconic, 
-hmm. Everybody wants a piece of uh, Harrods. These people could be traveling from Iran, Kenya, South Africa, but they want to go back home with a Harrods bag for their mom or their girlfriend or their boyfriend. It's, it's in Christmas, everybody wants a piece of something from Harrods. Oh, okay. Another thing I've noticed is uh, there's a lot of, I think, Dubai people. Yeah, this is where they spend their money. Arab money, oil money. <laughs> Dubai money. <laughs> Telling you. Yeah. My croissant. No, I'm waiting for. Oh yeah, croissant. that's a latte, yeah. This is my latte, and there are harrods there. This is about twelve, twelve pounds. No, seven, twelve, twelve. Six, twelve. Oh, nine. Yeah, nine. Yeah. So that's about. <laughs> Almost 2,000 Kenyan shillings. Is that expensive in Kenya? No, oh, that's our party. <laughs> really? That's our feast. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Ghana? Like, is things expensive in Accra? Yeah, Accra is expensive than Nairobi. Wow. Accra is expensive, especially accommodation. It's expensive there. Uh, the trap life on Accra to be pricey. Accra, Cape Town, Kinshasa, Abidjan. Those four. They are expensive and also, uh, but it sounds like really nice parties. Okay. <laughs> Where? Accra. You like Accra, yeah? The parties. And the parties yeah. wild, right? <laughs> it's crazy parties. The parties, the parties are good. <laughs> That's and the thing. You gotta we party so yeah. hard. You ready? Yeah. My croissant. Your croissant. <laughs> The tea is silent. Me, I will remain with croissant. <laughs> croissant. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Is it croissant or croissant? No, uh, it's French. So it is croissant. Yeah, it is a the tea is there. silent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers, guys. I'm not. I'm not fluent at French, but I can speak some. Have you been to Togo? No, but I've been to Ivory Coast, Kinshasa, Ivory Coast, Burundi. So it, it did help you then? I'm going to Paris. So. Paris when? This Paris. 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 <laughs> Paris. <laughs> you make me laugh. The S is silent. Paris. Okay. Cheers to cheers. cheers to the Royal African Tigress and the Ghana French Chief. <laughs> cheers. Mm. It tastes expensive. Yeah. It tastes royal. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually in the royal borough, so it's, it's royal, yeah. It tastes royal. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, we'll continue after that. So my croissant is here, my latte is having Harold's beer. But I don't want to finish battery on us. Exactly. So, Whew. so we're not leaving Harold's. So apparently there's about 3,000 designer shop. shops in here. Okay. Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chloe, Celine, Lowe, Tiffany, Clarence, Estee Lauder. Some I've never even heard of them. <laughs> no, like... Uh, let's, this one? Yeah. Shant. You get 10%. You get 10% when you have the reward cards. Yeah. Oh, so you get 10% dis discount? Yeah, when well, you have the card. The card, the, the guy was asking me. Yeah, you get 10% of the items. So, skincare. Skincare. Let me see how much the sunglasses cost. Okay. There's Fendi. What's your favorite brand? I don't, I don't. African Tigress. <laughs> No, I, I, I want to see how much. Can what I about see? the Gucci? How much is that? Two hundred and thirty, two hundred and ninety pounds. This one look good on you. Which one? That big one. This one. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, six hundred and ten. Yeah, that would look good. I can good try on you. it. Yeah, you can try. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. In exchange for this. <laughs> 
Does it? Looks good on you, yeah. Oh, where's the mirror? <laughs> the mirror is down here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Look good. Sure. Yeah. That's my rent. <laughs> Guys, do you want to buy this for African Royal? <laughs> Make sure you buy it. 610 pounds. Yeah. Let, That's 100,000 Kenyan Let's get shillings. somebody to buy you. Yeah. <laughs> Then I look good, all black. <laughs> black from head to toe. Yeah. All black. All black. <laughs> Amazing. 480. This is Burberry there. Yeah. That's Burberry, yeah. Yeah. That's very classy. Good swag, yeah. I like this one. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I like the gold, the gold frame. Yeah, I like it. And even like the vision, what I see, yeah. it's nice. It's most, yeah, much it's, more clear. Yeah, it's clearer and yeah. it has, it makes everything bright, like makes the future bright. Nice. <laughs> How much is that one? This one, let me see. This one, I really like it. It's not too much. Yeah. I love it. I love this one more. Let me see how much it costs. It's 200 and... No, 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 no. The price has, is deleted. Oh, is it? It's almost the same as this one, 4.95. Almost, but this is Gucci. Okay. Okay, and then this one. <laughs> this is the best for African tigers. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> See this designer one? Yeah. <laughs> now we're heading out of uh, Harrods. Then we walk straight uh -huh. down the road. Uh -huh. Then we'll be uh, walking down to one of the most popular uh, steak restaurants. Uh -huh. uh, this guy used to own a restaurant in uh, in Dubai, oh. where a uh, host puppy, all the celebrities had a steak there. Uh -huh. The steak cost about a thousand pounds. Oh, is yeah. that one? The, 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 the guy. The salt guy. Yeah, the salt oh, guy. So we go to this restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. Do you want to see it? Oh yeah. Let's go see the salt uh, salt guy restaurant. So guys, uh, this is the, the amazing, bay. the amazing um, Harrods. Uh, just before we continue. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's a much more beautiful environment down here. Okay, so let's okay, walk okay, down. Okay. Yeah, let me show you guys. Uh, All right. This is beautiful. Hold on, this someone is. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, it's not working. Hello, I'll be done in an hour. Can you come? Hello. Okay. I think there's a, I don't know if it's around here. Yeah. There's a street called Sabiro. Sabiro? Yeah. Okay. Where? like suits designers and all that oh i think it's somewhere here um, and there's a Ghanaian who has a shop there like uh, the only one like oswald's button yeah yeah oswald button. button yeah i think it's down the road and somewhere he there designed the new british the british airways, uh, airways uniform. uniform yeah yeah and he was the very first tailor ever in the world <laughs> i remember he designed the michael jackson uh, i think the trailer when he performed the trailer in uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> what a coincidence. Uh, guys, uh, guess who I just met? Uh, Jay just met us. We came from uh, Harrods and uh, yeah. we just uh, met uh, somebody. Oh, somebody's uh, shopping, I guess. Yeah. Why shopping? Don't spend all the money. <laughs> all right, all right see, you. see you later. All right. Okay. <laughs> Why is this? Hello. <laughs> Unbelong. Yeah. 